Welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Lishin Chaste. Now the headlines. Polling on all 40 seats in Goa, 55 seats across 9 districts in Uttar Pradesh and 70 seats in Uttarakhand is underway. Goa records 75% voter turnout, UP 60%, Uttarakhand 59% till 5 pm. Goa records 75% voter turnout. Turn out UP 60%, Uttarakhand 59% till 5 pm. Three people were killed in a road accident when a sumo travelling from Dimapur to Mokokchun hit a scooty coming from the opposite direction. Following the accident, the irrit mob vandalised the sumo and thrown to the highway to protest. Health and Family Welfare Department of Assam on Monday announced that mandatory COVID testing at airports and railway stations will be discontinued in light of dip in COVID cases in the state. The fresh development will be implemented in the state from February 15. The Indian Space and Research Organization successfully launched the Earth Observation Satellite on board the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. The launch carried two other rideshare satellites into orbit. Now for the news in details. In view of the joint mock drill exercise on earthquake to be conducted tomorrow by FAMEX Dimapur Deputy Commissioner Rajesh Sundararajan in a press release informed that the District Disaster Management Authority has requested the general public not to panic and to cooperate with the drill. The site for the drill has been identified at Pantalons, Dimapur Government College and State Stadium. The release further expressed regret of the inconveniences as normal traffic flow will be affected on certain routes during the exercise from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. There was an ethnographic photography exhibition under the title, A Walk into a Fading Heritage. The event was hosted by Donin Young Photography at Niatu Resort. The organizer, Donin Dryam Kom, told Hornbill TV that the exhibition's main purpose was to showcase the cultural heritage and festivals of Naga as it was slowly being forgotten and that to protect, preserve and promote such treasure not only of Nagaland but all northeastern states, culture and tradition. Let's have a look at the detailed report. Uh, I want to, to highlight the uh, importance of our cultural heritage that is fast fading away because of this modern uh, lifestyle we are all so caught up. Now we have lost the identity of who we are. My first photo expedition tour was in Mon district in Nagaland uh, among the Konya Naga tribes. Since then I decided that it will be my passion, it will be my profession as well. And that's the reason I've organized this uh, photography exhibition today. Uh, as a crowdfunding exhibition to raise funds, to help me uh, uh, generate some funds to uh, publish the photo book. Because I may host the ex exhibition, but uh, it's just for a limited number of people that who are attending the exhibition, they can see. But I want to put it as a book because it can reach far and wide not only here in Ireland, but it can reach to many nook and corner all across the world. And I want to showcase how bright, uh, how much uh, pride we can take uh, in our own cultural identity. We are not to be looked down by anybody when we go outside. Why should we be called by names when we have such rich cultural heritage to take pride of. We should not forget where we come from and our roots. And that's the reason the title of my exhibition today is A Walk into a Fading Heritage. And 
It's my team here it is. If children are the future of tomorrow, show them our culture today. Uh, I want to spread this awareness among all your uh, youngsters here today that to these photographs that I've shown, maybe you guys are very young and might not know, you know, any relevance because we live in a modern world now. But I want to draw an interest to you guys to take pride in our roots and maybe in your career also that you can one day look ahead and think about what we can do for our own people, for our own place, for our own community also. And to the end of media, to the end of photography, I've tried my humble effort to showcase this to the people across. And it's my humble uh, request to every viewers today that come and witness this uh, exhibition today. And uh, if there's anyone who's willing to support, can kindly come and help us. Today we are here to uh, witness the photography exhibition hosted by Doninda Yangkom. Uh, he is leading a, found, a foundation which is uh, known as Failing Heritage, right? Now, I think there is more emphasis put on the heritage of Nagaland. And I believe that uh, especially culture and heritage is in every aspect of our lives also. And we have a lot to learn from it, especially with our young students who are here. Uh, they can learn a lot from what has been depicted in the pictures itself also. Because though it cannot speak to you, but the visual and your senses can also uh, sort of uh, comprehend of what the picture is depicting and from the picture you can learn a lot on the culture, on the positive aspect of life and uh, it gives a sense of identity for your future prospects also. So I believe that uh, culture, heritage is something which is a very important factor in one's life is something which you need to take as you go forward in life. And I, I believe that the students are very intelligent, they are very uh, progressive in their thinking, and definitely we will see a better future as they also give a lot of emphasis on the rich tradition which they have. Five-day-long Hega festival culminates today. The five-day-long festival can be witnessed filled with various activities where soon-to-be married couples also hold a high stature during the festival. The fifth day is marked as the most important day and the highlight of the festival where the vibrant culture could be witnessed. The festival marks the celebration of Thanksgiving and seeking of blessings for a prosperous year ahead. It is also a festival of joy rest and get together with siblings and friends after a year-long hard work and harvest. The festival is the most revered and important festival celebrated by the Zelian community, laced with ritual and merrymaking since time immemorial. <laughs> Oh!
155th CRPF Battalion today at Keoko Village inaugurated a waiting shed. The shed was built by the CRPF and was offered to the village. The program's special guest was Newland Deputy Commissioner DC Ajit Kumar Verma and in his speech, he emphasized that the 155th CRPF Battalion and the villagers of Keoko Village should live in harmony. Let's have a look at the details with our reporter, Krike Senyokyuho. Public Aru Amakan Force. It's a vision like Nat Hakibolage. So it took only a special component, civic cooperation program for Aginate. So it's a Moikanke Amakan to come see you. पूरा कुआ तो चाइखान अलग जगह पे भी इनका काम कर जाते हैं दूसरा बस्ती खान पे भी चाइखान बेटिंग सेट नावले हैंड पंप नावले सोलर लाइट लगा काम तो कर जाते हैं तो इतनी निश्चित काम हमारे खान जाने हमारे खान न्यूलैंड से और इतनी निश्चित रिमोट एरिया से तो इनका सच्चे निमान भालना है तो इ and we hope that the future day will be Taikhan will be published in Goli Sajwo. Taikhan is the only thing that we have to do with Taikhan. Taikhan is a physical training. So, we have to do with Taikhan to do with Taikhan, 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 to do with Taikhan. They have knowledge, they have experience. So, with experience to Amakan, use to live with it, so, Pasti Karnet of Halvo. Ahead of Manipur Assembly polls, Bharatiya Janata Party, Sambit Patra, conducted door to door campaign in Infal on February 13. Elections in Manipur will be held in two phases on February 27 and March 3rd, and the results will be declared on March 10th. Ahmadmi Party National Convener Arvin Kejewal has assured that the party will work with the central government on a national security issue if elected in Punjab Assembly polls. The Ahmadmi Party never compromises on national security and if voted to power in Punjab, the AAP will work together with the center on the issue of security in Punjab and the country, he said. There should be no politics on the issue of security of the PM but politics was done from both sides, he added. Punjab Assembly elections 2022 will be held on February 20 to elect 117 MLAs. The results will be announced on March 10. करजना करता हुआ रॉकेट मांग की ऊंचाइयों पर जाता हूँ रेडियोसी 52 स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल ट्रेन है करजना करता हुआ फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सितरामान ऑन फ़ेब्रुअरी 14 वाले ड्रेसिंग अ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस विद आरबीआई गवर्नर शक्ति कंटर दास असर्टेड दैट द मिनिस्ट्री एंड आरबीआई वर्क इन फुल कोऑपरेशन विद इच अदर with RBI and Ministry not just on crypto,
but on every other thing as well she thinks there is complete harmony with which they are working, respecting each other's domain, also knowing what they have to do with each other's priorities and in interests of the nation, Nirmala Sitaraman said. There is no turfing here, said Sitaraman. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on Monday expressed confidence in the Bharatiya Janata Party, winning the state assembly polls by securing over 300 seats and said that elections are a fight between 80 versus 20, wherein 80% are those who back progress while 20% people oppose everything and have a negative attitude. In an exclusive interview with ANI, Adityanath said, that after the first phase of the Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections, there is no doubt about the BJP forming the government. Bharatiya Janata Party, Pradhan Mantri Modi ji ke nitrutto mein, Janata Janardhan ke asri baat se double engine ki sarkar, phir se aayi ki, 80 banam 20 ki taraf chunao cha chuka hai, Sapa, Baspa, Congress, Hatasa, Nirasa, पहले चरण में उनके मन में छा चुका है उनके लिए जनता जनार्दन के सामने अब कोई स्पेस जनता जनार्दन के लिए कोई जगह नहीं है भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो एक लक्ष्य दिया है कि फिर एक बार 300 पार तो हम 300 पार के लक्ष्य को प्राप्त कर रहे हैं द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया बैंड 50 मोर 54 more Chinese apps that pose a threat to India's security informed sources on Monday. The 54 Chinese apps include Beauty Camera, Sweet Selfie HD, Beauty Camera Selfie, Camera Equalizer and Base Booster Cam Card for Salesforce, Isoland 2, Ashes of Time, Lit, Viva Video Editor, Tencent Driver, Onomyoji, Chess, on Emoji Arena, App Lock, Dual Space Lit. Earlier in June last year, India banned 59 Chinese mobile applications, including the widely used social media platforms such as TikTok, WeChat, and Hello, keeping in view the threat to the nation's sovereignty and security. The majority of the apps banned in the June 29 order were red flagged by intelligence agencies over concerns that we're collecting user data and possibly also sending them outside. This action came after 20 Indian soldiers and an unspecified number of the Chinese soldiers were killed during violent clashes in Galwan Valley in eastern Ladakh amid border tensions with China. Later in the month of September, the government of India further blocked 118 Chinese mobile apps, stating that they are prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, security of the state and public order. However, China opposed India's decision to continue the ban on Chinese mobile app and said the action is in violation of the World Trade Organization's non-discriminatory principles. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday paid tributes to the CRPF Jawans who were killed in the terror attack in Pulama district of South Kashmir in February 2019. No Indian can forget this day. Two years ago, the Pulama attack happened. We pay homage to all the martyrs. We are proud of our security forces and their bravery will continue to inspire generations, he said at a function. He said the country's armed forces have shown time and again that they are fully capable of protecting our motherland. 40 CRPF personnel were killed in the terrorist attack carried out by Pakistan-based terror group Jaish e Muhammad in Pulwama on 14 February 2019.
Three people were killed in a road accident when a sumo traveling from Dimapur to Mokokchon hit a scooty coming from the opposite direction. Following the accident, the irate mob vandalized the sumo and tronched to the highway to protest. Meanwhile, after the accident, the three dead bodies have been taken to Jorhat Medical College and Hospital. <laughs> Can I go on a more Jijon dead who said the Hijon Murhoru Haiti, Mukualora, Himanata Sasburi, Karu, Kurkali, Korigota, Tobolo Gosile, He Mutta, Nogari, Ekonahi, Takunda Marimane, exported Hogu. Tinizan Dukas, Tinizan Dukas, Eta Kotado Holje, Nogari Ajibulinohe, Nogari Potro to Mane, Delhi, Edino Kotanohe, Hotai Din Tanto Mane, Momotalis about Gari Solai to Rasta. So, I mean, it's a Pokagon, a Dabijan, the Nogari to Rasta, the Ohajo Bondo Hobola, Amari to Rasta Bondo Hobola. Speed of the Nogari. That's all Kunu control and I. That's a Nijo Solamane. A Manu as a Guru as a Sagulas and Ekumotlobene. Mutate and the Garikon Solai Jabolaga. At least a thousand sedation cases lodged by Bartia Janata Party in a sum on Monday against Congress MP Rahul Gandhi. For his tweet saying India exits from Gujarat to West Bengal, thereby conceding to Chinese demand of Arunachal Pradesh, top sources revealed to ANI. The Wayanad MP in a tweet on February 10 had said that there is strength in our union. There is strength in our union, our union of cultures, our union of diversity, our union of languages, our union of people, our union of states, Rahul Gandhi had said. In the same tweet, he had further mentioned that this union from Gujarat to West Bengal, following the tweet, Chief Ministers of Assam, Tripura and Manipur pointed out that the Congress leader missed mentioning the Northeast states. From Kashmir to Kerala, from Gujarat to West Bengal, India is beautiful in all its colors. Don't insult the spirit of India, Rahul Gandhi had said. The sources say that Rahul Gandhi deliberately ignored the Northeast and thereby conceded to the demand of the Chinese for Arunachal Pradesh. That's all we have for now. Stay tuned for more news with Hornbill TV.